great environment. Uh, again, thanks to the Knights, we say that all the time. Very good opponent. Um, you know, just didn't get off to a great start, and we were kind of playing uphill the whole whole game. Um, again, you know, uh, struck out too many times offensively. Uh, uh, had had a situation where we gave him too many free base runners, and when when you have a situation like that against a top twenty team, it's going to be going to be a struggle. Competitive, but but not where we want to get to. You know, we played so well you know, the time before and, and beat Georgia there a few weeks earlier. Uh, just didn't have have our best night, but you got to give state credit for that. And again, another great atmosphere. Drew, you know, we drew over 20,000 people now for the three games total that we've played at BB&T. And you know, all those are good from a program standing, uh, program building standpoint. But just trying to trying to win as many games as we can when we play down there. Well, we were competitive in two of the three games down there at Southern Miss last year, uh, and and lost two really close games on the front end. And the last game, you know. Uh, Got out of hand a little bit early, early, but uh, I thought they were a regional team last year. I thought it was kind of a, a travesty, so to speak, that they didn't get a bid because they were definitely one of the best teams we played all year last year. And they got most of the same guys back again this go around. Uh, they lost a few pitchers, but their, their core of their team is back. They do a good job coaching them. They play a great schedule. Uh, you know, it's going to be good to get him, you know, get them back here, and, and get them, uh, you know. Uh, here this weekend to play because they're a really good program and people that you know we have a lot of respect for. It's hard at this level. I mean, everybody's everybody's good. You know, so much of it's predicated on pitching at every level, at the major league level, at the high school level, at, at this level. It's predicated on you know pitching, uh, and we just at times we just go through phases where it's just too easy for other teams to score. And then offensively, from our standpoint, at times we go through phases where we don't put the ball in play consistently enough. When you combine those two things, and if we have days where those two things happen at the same time, it's almost like in basketball or football. When you have turnovers, it's going to be hard to beat you know, elite level teams. But you know, just trying to clean those things up, trying to clean some of it up today in practice, uh, and trying to maximize the time that we do have in pregame to try to get better. And, and just getting those two primary things cleaned up. Well, Southern Miss, uh, you know, FAU, Rice, those have really been the three programs, you know, in the last two or three years that have been at the top of our league. Uh, and that's where we aspire to be. We want to play at that level. So if, if you want to play at that level, you got to beat those teams. Uh, you know, and we've shown glimpses and flashes of being able to do that in the past. It's just a matter of trying to be as consistent as we can over that, over that 30 game conference schedule. I got another great opportunity this weekend to, to, to do that, uh, home games, uh, and again, we just look at it as it's a great opportunity to be able to, to be able to show people that we can play in that mid to upper level of Conference USA.